Okay, so we create some maps in the um, world machine and now I want to use them as an example when we're creating terrain. Some of them will be straightforward but other ones we need to convert based on your application and this is, will be actually a very good time to showing some of the conversions necessary and a difference between applications. So let's go for example we're creating this terrain. I'm going to just scale slightly. Okay, we'll go to edit this object and because my map was 2048 by 2048 so I'm going to increase resolution at least match resolution of the terrain so we'll go flat this down and we'll go ahead and open okay so from right here is collection and if you purchase tutorials this is all maps will be in the bonus pack so you can use them Okay, right here I have a high field. This is include all four zones. So we'll go ahead and open this. And you know, maybe it's too high so I can control from here what I can do afterwards. So I'll click OK. Okay, right here is my map and you can see it's got high details. So I'll add it maybe a little bit too high in some areas. So what I'm going to do right now is take this terrain and maybe you know, just shrink a little bit from top. You can always readjust height of this. Okay, here's my main camera. We'll just move slightly up and look down. So as also I want to be sure terrain is sitting properly. Okay, right here. And I'm going also just change colors for now. So I'm going to replace this color with a uh, let's go see we have a basic one we'll just basic flat white on both of them so we can preview okay next i want to go ahead preview render to screen so we can go and see what we have right now and this is our terrain you can see we have very good high resolution peaks mountain kind of swampy area so all this for Okay, the next apply materials um, will have it some transparency. If you notice with the image importing high field, the white is high, black is low. And when we start working on a first this one, that is okay for the flat white. We can also actually just switch, maybe even put it kind of orangey base layout. So we can preview easy like a river right here. You can see where it's below. Um, but when we start adding next level, and this is, for example, I want to create just for this mountain on a side. So actually, let me do it, take camera. Just move slightly this way so we can see this mountain. Okay. First, I notice my scale is wrong. So what I want to do, I want to take this scale and reduce to one. Okay. and we'll take this scale and pop up to one so we have all right scale also this layer mountain I want to be sure it's set as an object parametric okay also in presence let's increase this one all the way so we have it cover everything Next, we're going to switch this and using um, different materials. You can utilize anything from map it to grain, but for now, I'm just going to set maybe to the blue so we can preview and see very well where the distribution happened on this. Okay, good deal right there. We don't need high highlights. And we'll go work with transparency. So I'm going to have it 100% variable transparency and we'll go to edit this function. So as we add it, we're going to texture map and use it project, project it, and just connect it as a grayscale. So right here is where we can start uploading maps. So let's go open. And you can see right here I have it. Here's things. Black is not transparent, white is transparent. So if we select this map, what is happening now we cover just this area okay this is okay for this map and we can reverse so it will just apply to the area we want it again it's a hide map and in some cases it's work 
kind of okay. We have a darker height, so we can work fine on this. Let's go click OK. And I want to copy this function. So my next layer, and this layer will call flow mountain. Okay, same. I want to be sure it's object parametric. Let's go to the, set this one. But this one, let's go set something different, maybe like bright red. We'll go to transparency, convert to transparency, and we'll paste the function. So it's make just a little bit easy. When we edit all what we need to do, just preload other. And right here, the thing, when we preload it, you can see flow. So let's click on a flow, click open. And you notice what's happening. Now it is right all the way. So we have it at those areas we want to inverse. So some is happen properly in some areas like right here going except if you want to have a different map like this then you need to rework so then you need to actually change bottom right this area and to do this we can look inside the Photoshop as example and right here for example this our flow so right now what we have when we load it it's like this so for example actually it's small will be going like this black so this is what happened in some case if you need inverse you probably want inverse more in different ways so you can create um, area coloring and based on this combinations black and white remember um, the white is transparent and black is not transparent so you can always kind of switch to create this way uh, straightforward so in this case it will paint inside and we cut off this area so if we we'll go look back for example if I want to cover just this area without end so it's meaning my um, white areas transparent okay so white areas transparent black not transparent so I need to do this way so I need to have it my white and save it because it was saved as PNG uh, this transparency it will apply as a transparent black color in this case right here okay so let's go switch in that case for the VU it's work good except the right this edge I don't like how it's merging right here on the end so I'm going to click OK and on the presence I'm going to move slightly out or maybe just right here and increase presence on the bottom so just make sure these areas look a little bit nicer okay we have it one done so we can go create another one and for this one we call peaks we same it's always you want to be object parametric so it's applied to all size of all terrain okay we'll go switch this color maybe to something green something totally different Okay, again we go on transparency we'll paste function let's go to edit this function okay and right now we have it our height for the peak so I'm going to use this one okay and notice right here this is a become problem because we have a transparency it does not necessarily apply this area where I don't want them go so it's applied to all peaks as supposed to Let's go inside this Photoshop and we'll go to Peaks Height. So in this case, I have it one layer. And remember what it says, it's a transparency. We can set like this, okay? At this point, I want to go and save this as TFF file. Okay, after it's saved, let's go back. And now I want to go reopen. And right here I have my save peak, so I will open that file. Okay, you'll notice again white, so I can inverse this. And now it will apply just to those peaks on top again, where it's a black one. So it's applied right on the tops of my peaks. I can create second map if I wanted. And let's go do this as example. So instead this, I'll create new. Let me go to fill up, actually with not gray, I want to fill up with a white color. 
Okay, and let's go save this one as a maybe peaks lower level. Okay, so I'm going to save this, copy this function. We'll create new layer. Peak slow will go again object parametric. Okay, we'll go, with, let's switch this color. We have it green, we'll just go with yellowish. In this case, I will color all of this area of high field, just high peaks and low. So by blending them together, this is kind of nicer way to, to apply this way. Okay, we'll go to transparency. We'll go paste this function. So I want that applied. And now I can modify this function, change this field. Okay, and we have it right here. Uh, which one? This one, we want low, okay. So we'll go open this. You can see how it's applied. Let's go click OK. Let's click OK right now. I'll take camera. And actually, I want to move camera, not to rotate. So we can preview a little bit of this box. So again, with the same map, but rotating now, we have a height healed and low area. You can see we applied some of those coloring. So you need sometimes convert your um, maps based on what you want to achieve in this case. Okay, notice right here we still have a flow coming from this area. And this is why we need sometimes masking by the distance a little bit better. So we could go inside the world machine and kind of area a little bit better by using height chooser just to bring those things away or we can also use it map to on a flow to remove some of this masking but again this is overlay two of uh, two areas they're overlaying okay, but that is okay because we kind of was using um some right here this overlay so it was using okay let's go open our material editor and we'll continue in the next tutorial to add additional uh, layers.